So we got a little controversy brewing in the update yesterday that I went through and showed you all the patch notes. Of course, we had this line about the seasonal refresh for DMZ. All new missions are coming for Season 2, which is great. We're going to be getting new missions. But the controversy is around there's going to be a refresh of your current faction mission progress and an inventory reset. Contraband and keys are specified here. Uh, this made me think that we were just going to get a refresh like you know, we would still keep the missions that we have, but the other elements would be reset. Well, that's what I put out on Twitter. I asked to see what everybody else thought about it because I saw some messages going both of the different ways. Uh, ultimately, Modern Warzone replied saying no, everybody would have it. And he did say that he received confirmation that insured slots in DMZ will be wiped, reset when Season 2 goes live. That's because faction tiers will also be reset to 1% or everyone. Uh, this, if you're familiar with Escape from Tarkov, which is the game everybody always compares this to, I've talked a lot about this in the past, but I need to get into all of it, but the idea is all of the progress, everything. It's like you're starting over from square one, which makes me think as well, does that mean we're going to reset our operator for like completing seven weapons cases? Is that going to reset the M13 as well? I doubt that, but at this point, I don't know. And we will be getting a full blog post with all of the details. This is the community update. But this was something that he said, and you know, I don't know necessarily where he received it from, but this is what people are talking about. And I was streaming DMZ all day today, talking a little bit about it. So I wanted to include it here, but the new missions will be added. And it said uh, that the path from tier one to tier three will be quicker for the second insurance slot. We did read that uh, they're going to be making the overall task to be easier to achieve because they said it was too hard to get to tier two or it's taking too long. Everyone will have their faction reset to tier one. The wording of the blog post confused some people, so that uh, is, I guess, where they put it out. Even Westy put out a video. If you guys are uh, familiar with him, we just did the tourney with him, uh, which we'll be having a coming uh, video on soon. But he said, just post the DMZ season two video. And the comments are full of people going nuts that their contraband and key stashes are being wiped. Missions are being refreshed. This is also what I saw even on my stream today because that's what I titled it because, you know, it's pretty big. Uh, a lot of people have been absolutely loving DMZ and to see, you know, everything that you've done, everything that you've worked on doesn't matter and it's all being reset. Good luck. Now, the big thing that I've also seen arguments on is that, well, it's a beta. I mean, do, does content usually transfer over from a beta? Not typically. But, you know, they also didn't ever say that all of this was going to be reset in the first place. And this very much is kind of a PvE game where you are progressing through the missions. That's the main thing for a lot of people. Uh, Westy said, I didn't realize that many people didn't know how extraction shooters worked. And I think a lot of people didn't know. A lot of people, especially on console, or they didn't even really have the expectation, especially if you don't follow YouTube, you don't follow Twitter, uh, Twitch, you don't watch any of these content streams. Even if you only look at what the developers are putting out, if you look at Ravensoft, like you only ever see their stuff on their actual like uh, on their Twitter. They don't even put it on YouTube. They don't put it anywhere else. You have to go to their Trello board or something. It's very confusing in terms of where all this stuff goes out. But ultimately, well, I think I'm at it on it right now. It is super disappointing, at least for me, because I'm just about at my third insured slot, and obviously I want to keep that. I feel like if they would just keep the insured slots at least, because that's been the big progress that we've been mainly going towards. That would be incredible. They could even add other things. So obviously they're adding new missions. What if those missions led to having a separate stash for bags that you could unlock, having a separate stash for satchels you could unlock, even a couple slots for? Let's say you didn't buy Modern Warfare 2 and you only have a 10-slot contraband stash. What if that opened it up to a 20-slot where you could continue to progress towards that for the players who didn't actually buy it? I think there's a lot of other things, and likely we'll see those happen in the future. There's so many different things they can do with DMZ, and that's why I'm so excited about the mode, personally at least. It's like, the baseline of what they've created is quite solid, especially if you were to think about like, oh, what if somebody else tried to create something that was cross-platform, had the amount of loot, weapon animations, weapons that are even in it, and the potential to expand with new updates that are going to be coming. I think there's still a lot that they can do, and obviously we have the third map that's going to be coming and everything with it. So I'm relatively optimistic, and even if it does reset, I am, you know, at least it'll give me more to do because as soon as I get the third insurance, you know, insurance slot, I'm probably going to be bored with it anyways. Uh, but it would have been at least nice to have some type of progress, and maybe they only even will be, although I doubt it, something to at least recognize, you know, people who did grind it out or get the third insured slot in the first season or or something along those lines because it is definitely, you know, I, I've read some of these comments, although some of them were a little uh, crazy too, and maybe maybe not. Jay God had a 
interesting one here. He mentioned the 280 hours and doesn't have Tier 3 done. That's some perspective and a lot of play time. Uh, maybe they only play solo, though, to referencing one of the comments. It's like, how do you have that much time? You still haven't completed Tier 3, but if it is only solo or, you know, maybe you just don't spend a lot of time even on the missions. You're just messing around on it, which then again, that gives you a lot of new content to even do. And especially to the point of the initial message here, if these all new missions are uh, are different, right? They're going to be changing what the actual missions are. So it's going to be a different progress that we're going to go through. It'll be faster to get to our tier two one. So I don't know. That's kind of where I'm at with it. A lot of people have been asking, uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Give it a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for all the latest, and I'll keep you updated. Well, hopefully you like some of these just random little videos that I'm putting up. A little less edited, but just throwing it on the Place channel. So subscribe here and to the main channel, Stormout64. Thanks, guys. Stormout64, over and out.